What's up guys, we've got another video here for How to Lucid and I'm just going to be answering a few questions in this little video. Uh, it's not like the usual ones where I'd answer one particular question, this one is a bit different uh, because one particular video I posted a few days ago uh, went sort of uh, a bit crazy, it got about 2,000 views which is um, I think one of the most popular views on my channel so far uh, and I only posted it a few days ago, so you obviously like this one and there's been a lot of questions commented on it. So the video I'm talking about is how to lucid, induce a lucid dream in nine seconds. And I'm, I'm talking about the finger-induced lucid dreaming technique. Okay, so you may remember in the video I was talking about this technique where I, I used the keyboard like this and I sort of showed you how to uh, practice this finger movement, um, which you can use in conjunction with a wake-induced lucid dream uh, in your REM, around about the time when you would have REM sleep in the early morning. Uh, and if you get it right, it will induce a lucid dream within about nine seconds. Um, so obviously this is a really appealing concept. I'm sure you guys like this idea. Uh, and so I'm just going to take a look at some of these comments here and sort of answer them as I go. So the first one is from Andrew Boy Gaming RO. Uh, it says, there is a question, what do I do if I get exhausted while moving my fingers? Okay, so to answer the question, usually you won't because if you remember, what you're not you're not actually moving your fingers. What you're doing is you're 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 getting them to the point where they you're thinking about moving them, uh, and so the maybe like inside your hand the the tiniest muscles might contract, but they shouldn't really because it's really uh, about the idea of thinking about making the movement. So that shouldn't really be an issue for you. Uh, if you're getting tired doing this, then you're I think you're doing it wrong. Uh, so just go back to the basics. Just obviously set your alarm and practice uh, the day before you try this, practice uh, moving your fingers and then making the movement smaller and smaller until it gets to the point where you're not actually moving them at all. Okay, so I hope that helps. Next one, what happens if you wake up to shut your alarm off and then you just stay awake? You can't, you can't go back to sleep uh, and you find it very difficult. Well, for this situation, there's not a lot I can advise other than just keep trying uh, and maybe try the next day okay because obviously if you stay awake and you can't go back to sleep that kind of makes it a bit difficult to do it doesn't it uh, when you, you there's not much you can do is what I'm saying so you have to be really tired in order for this to work that's why it's best done uh, very early in the morning where you're in the stage where you you can wake up but then when you do wake up you feel so tired that you could very easily go back to sleep and that's very important for this technique uh, so, someone else has said, can I turn my alarm off and start doing it? Uh, yes, I would advise that. What I would also advise is to actually set your alarm to go off automatically after 30 seconds or so. So it's just long enough to wake you up, but not too long that it's going to keep, you know, it's going to annoy you and make it difficult to stay, uh, make it difficult to go back to sleep. So I'm pretty sure that's all of the main questions here. Someone else has said, what happens if I need to get up and pee? Um, obviously if you need to go to the toilet go and use the toilet and then come back um, if you find this makes you it keeps you sort of too awake to do this and you can't fall back asleep easily then the night before you try this don't drink as much water maybe stop drinking water at nine in the evening uh, and sort of have a drink when you've actually woken up for the day the next day and next question is what should I do if I don't have an alarm. Now this is this is a tricky one because in order to actually wake up at this particular time to target your REM sleep you kind of need to have an alarm uh, because otherwise you, it's guesswork you you're gonna wake up whenever you would naturally wake up and it won't be the right time for this technique. So I'm pretty sure that it's the last... Uh, there's, sorry there's one more question okay uh, I mentioned waking up at about 4 to try this technique uh, and someone has asked what time should I be going to sleep um, and I would say roughly 10 or 11 in the evening but you'll sort of get a hang of this as you go on so if you try this for a month for example uh, and every day you'll I wouldn't recommend it because you'll be you know you'll be overtiring yourself you'll be experiencing like fatigue and lack of motivation throughout the day but if you try it for a month maybe sort of every three or four days uh, naturally you'll get used to being able to wake up at four and then that day you'll sort of feel tired at around the right time that you should be going to sleep. So 10 or 11. I found if I'm waking up at four, um, usually I'll go to sleep at about 10, half 10. Uh, 
12 at the very latest, but I wouldn't recommend that because you're not getting enough sleep. So I hope this has answered your questions, guys. This is uh, my response to the questions on the, uh, the finger-induced lucid dreaming technique. So I hope this has helped. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, and also check out the annotations. I've started adding annotations in the corners here for my, the lucid uh, resource guide. Also leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch the next video.